Hello once again, YouTube. Chris the I bring you here, bringing you some StarMade station reviews. And today we are taking a look at Alpha Derelict by Hikronex, or so I hope I pronounced correctly. So it's been a while. This is the start of the Derelict station reviews. I will continue using an actual like uh, rating system on a scale of one to ten on three categories: internal design, external design, and overall effectiveness as an abandoned station. There are about 20 or so abandoned stations, and uh, once all 20 of those stations are complete and I have reviewed them all, I'll be moving on to my personal picks. Uh, there will be random stations, most likely Skylords, that I'll be downloading and uh, checking out. Uh, that format will be a little bit different, but I just want to let you, know, uh, you guys know what was uh, going to go on with uh, this series, because uh, I will not be stopping it. Um, it will continue. So, we're going to take a look at this. This is uh, Alpha Derelict, like I said. And uh, right off the bat, I can tell you that it is very bright, very light. There's lots of lights on it. I'm not sure if that's indicative of a station that is abandoned. But I do like beacons, not going to lie. It's pretty good. Uh, we've got these four main hangers, it seems. Very plain, just a rectangle with uh, some windows and some lights. Definitely could have added some depth uh, onto the walls here, although the shape of this hallway right here is pretty nice, and I wish this kind of uh, design aesthetic was applied in a few other places, because this is a very specific hallway shape, and it gives it a very specific feeling, and I quite like that. Even the uh, the middle section here, the actual platform where you walk on is elevated above the, uh, the corners there, which is pretty nice. I like that. That's a really nice hallway design. Come into the center here, and we can uh, we can go up. There's uh, red lights. Just making sure that that's not like an undetonator or something a little odd. Um, it looks like we've got some exposed uh, landing docks, like landing pads, landing docks. That's not a proper term. Um, we can continue up. We're in some sort of observation ring. Not much is going on here, and that's all right because it is an abandoned station. Uh, the, uh, the beacons are shining through into the hallways, which in some cases, uh, and we've seen this in the past, can give uh, the effect of fog, but it's not really pulling it off here. It's kind of out of place, I think. Uh, so I would say that, you know, maybe adjust that in the future if uh, the station is to be updated in any sort of way. I believe there was a, a lower section, but I could be wrong. Oh, yes, there's uh, elevators that we can take down into a lower segment, which... Uh, has some nice windows on the bottom there, and what's this down here? Is this just power systems? I feel like this is power systems and general systems, actually. Definitely could have used some wedges here, or heptas and tetras, as they are now called. Uh, at least the pentas have changed in their name. Ooh, this is something I didn't see. A big docking section here as well, with uh, doorways leading in. And uh, it's covered in metal grills. So it's very interesting choices for some of the, the designs. I don't honestly think it's cohesive all the way through. Uh, the only thing that really has stuck with the entirety of the station is like the lighting, the fact that it's so bright, and the color scheme, which doesn't really vary too much. I mean, there are some blue lights here that give off some blue uh, color to the, the gray hull. There's some red lights, but other than that, it's an entirely white and gray structure there's you know some color on the landing pad which now this is just a personal personal i can't speak holy crap personal preference but um i would tone down the use of the uh the hazard stripes hazard stripes are a very specific pattern and the colors and the fact that you know it's just a pattern in general means that you know you should use it sparingly or at least i think so um i personally would not make an entire floor out of hazard stripes. I, you know, uh, kind of outline sections of the docking area with hazard stripes instead, or use it as, like, uh, an, a warning strip, so to speak. So yeah, this is pretty interesting. I, I do like this shape, but I think everything could be uh, refined, definitely. Uh, internal and external design. I, I am going to be a little bit harsher uh, going down the line. I've improved as a builder, and I, I get, and I, I, I've got a better feeling for how I should be rating these things. And I, in order to keep it in uh, fairness with the other reviews I've done, I will still be doing this rating system, so I apologize if you don't like that. 
I won't be doing it in the future, but for the sake of fairness for this series, covering all of the station entries it was for the contest, I will be continuing with the rating system. So for internal and external design, I'm going to have to say a 5 or a 6 out of 10. You've got most of it down, it just needs a lot of refining. Uh, overall effectiveness as a trait uh, or an abandoned station, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. You know, if you turned off the lights and made it a little bit darker and then, you know, overall just made it uh, more interesting in some areas, you know, refined all these structures, I definitely think this could be pulled off as an abandoned station. It's got a nice shape and uh, I think uh, doing some more work on this could really pay off. But that's it for the station that was Alpha Derelict by Hyronex, again, or Hycronex. Again, not sure if I'm spelling that cor or saying that correctly. I cannot speak. Holy shit. Oh my god. Come back for the next episode. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more, and I will see you all next time.